Hi, I'm Dr. Katherine Franson. Have you ever heard the philosophical question, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around, does it make a sound? Let's see if we can answer that today by learning a little bit more about sound. So what's between me and this camera that's recording me? You might say nothing, but actually there's a whole bunch of air molecules. Most of those air molecules are oxygen and nitrogen, but there's also carbon dioxide, helium, and a bunch of other gases. So those air molecules are critical to our understanding of how sound works. Have you ever seen a speaker vibrating when the music's really loud? Or maybe uh, felt your headphones? You can actually feel those puffs of air, the vibration of sound uh, as it's moving through the air. Let's try it with a rubber band. You can hear that sound and see the vibrations of our rubber band as it, and the sound is the vibrations moving air molecules between the rubber band and your ear. Anytime we hear sound, what we're hearing is the vibration of air molecules. So what are you hearing right now while I'm talking to you? Well, you're hearing the vibrations of my vocal cords. As we push air up through our vocal cords, then we're making sounds. Try it yourself. Say your name while you hold your hand gently against your neck and you can feel those vibrations too. Our volume, or how loud we are, is telling us how big of a wave of air molecules that we're vibrating. So if I shout, hi, I'm sending a huge tidal wave of air molecules towards your ears. Think of it like a big giant ocean wave, whereas a whisper, hi, is like a little tiny ocean wave. So this takes us to the next part of sound. Now your ear has to hear the sound. When we think of our ears, a lot of times we're thinking about the outer ear. It's also known as the pinna. Well, the outer ear, its job is to collect all the sounds and funnel them down into our ear canal. Kind of like a funnel for your head. As sound goes through your ear canal, it bangs on your eardrum. On the other side of your eardrum, in your middle ear, are three tiny bones, or ossicles. They're known as the malleus, incus, and stapes, or in English, the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. Those are the three tiniest bones in your body. And those bones act like a lever to transfer sound from that eardrum into the inner ear, or the cochlea, where it can then send information to your brain. So now we have a model eardrum. We've stretched some plastic around an embroidery hoop to represent our eardrum. We've attached three different pieces of plastic to represent those three ossicles or tiny bones of the middle ear. Those are then resting on the water, which is representing the fluid inside the cochlea, our inner ear. So now we're gonna make a noise on the ear canal side and the air is going to be transferred into movement of the ossicles and our inner ear fluid. Ready? In your inner ear, those waves of fluid cause tiny hairs on your hair cells to move, kind of like seaweed floating in the ocean waves. Those hair cells then send signals through the auditory nerve to the brain. The brain processes and organizes those sounds so that we can recognize them. So if a tree falls in the woods, then it will displace air molecules and cause vibrations but it's only a sound if your ear hears it and your brain recognizes it. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye. Download instructions for this and other STEM at home activities at smv.org slash stay connected.